My name is Barbara Crow. I'm the Dean of Graduate Studies and the Associate Vice President of Graduate Studies. And I'm really pleased today to speak to you around about the Interdisciplinary Studies degree program at York University. It's one of our first graduate programs offered at the university and has been a really important touchstone for the wider university about how and why and in what ways we can do graduate education. What interdisciplinary studies does is it gives students an opportunity to create their own program of study that whatever it is that they want to study, something innovative, they're able to now not look at it through one discipline but three disciplines. In the second year students do a full thesis and they have the opportunity to do a creative component to that as well. So some students do an app or a piece of theatre or music or photography or a film. The list again can, can be endless. Interdis students have three faculty members working with them very closely in a way uh, that is generally not always the case for students in other disciplines. My name is Celia Haig-Brown. I am currently the Associate Vice President Research and my home faculty is the Faculty of Education. Often when interdisciplinary studies students come in, education is one dimension of the work that they're thinking about. In addition to that, uh, research methodology is an area I'm very interested in. I call myself a critical ethnographer and uh, very often students are needing to think very deeply about the methodologies that they decide to employ. The time spent with two other faculty members who are not specifically in my area of work, but for whom the student has created a nexus where we do come together to interact with one another in ways that are not the usual ways when we stay discipline based. I find that really exciting. I first got involved in the interdisciplinary program as a student. I'd just been hired to teach in our film program here, and I lacked actually not just a graduate degree, but an undergraduate degree. And I thought it was high time at the late age of 45, 46 to start to catch up. And I'd always been uh, very excited by the scholarly, academic, theoretical side of the film profession, but I've always been a practitioner. My thesis was on a case study of an AIDS activist documentary opera I was making. I was really lucky to be supported by Interdis in this very cross-disciplinary project and uh, felt at every stage a lot of support, but equally a lot of elbow room. I was really the driver. I had to create the program and drive the program. And I think the best way to approach Interdis is to think about it, this is time for myself. I've been out there for 10 years pursuing this career path or that career path. Here's two years where I'm going to reassess, I'm going to luxuriate in the wonderful possibilities of what it means to do coursework and be in the classroom again, working on a project that's a true passion. 